this brand spanking new episode of Melody and Friday, episode 85. Thank you all for tuning in and keeping track of all of these past episodes. It's been fun. Some couple of experiments for the past number of weeks. The Curl Cup happening during the Christmas holidays. Uh, the flu. I got the flu, which is hence why we had to uh, do what we did and bring in this... Uh, Wait until this weekend for a brand spanking live new episode of Mail It In Friday. For those of you watching for the first time, I do this every Friday where I give little to no effort in these broadcasts whatsoever. It doesn't really bother me one bit. <laughs> um, are we still rolling? There we go been a while so please bear with me on this um, we just take these episodes I give little to no effort to these broadcasts call the games as they see as they go so let's hey let's enough talking let's get things started Houston Dynamo and the Seattle Sounders now shall we now I have a strange feeling that there is going to be problem with hi there everybody yes there hi. is so let's go ahead and go to the Settings, game settings. You think we take care of this beforehand? There we go. But no, we don't care. <laughs> let's see. Right, let's just make sure everything is good to go. You think we'd handle this beforehand? But no, we don't. We don't ever do that. We don't care. All right, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen. It's the kickoff here at BBVA Compass Stadium. Where we have the Seattle Sounders defending their MLS Cup against the Houston Dynamo. Hello again, everyone. I'm your host, Mr. Lacombe, bringing you this great action. You're looking live in Houston, Texans. Well, Houston, Texas, excuse me. Oh, that's that other football team. Interesting storyline if you follow this. That man, Will Bruin, came over from the Houston Dynamo. How interesting and how fitting that his first match is in Houston, but on the opposing side. We're starting 11 for the Houston Dynamo. That's how it lines up with a 4 1 4 1. That formation. Your Seattle Sounders, however, he's not starting 11. Very different than from what we've seen last time, last year. Of course, you don't have, uh, you have Clint Dempsey coming from the bench. It's uh, just a projected line. Everyone put it on top, Ladero in the middle, Fernando on the left, Morris on the right, all the Alonzo and Roldan still there. Um, for those of you wondering, yeah, Clint Dempsey is scheduled to, uh, to go. He's good to go. Had a slight heart problem. Very unfortunate events. Had to miss the remainder of the season. But now, guess what? Nicolas Ladera, there he is. That man right there. Waiting. We're all waiting to see what's going to happen. How is this going to be played out? No Nelson Valdez. No Tyrone Mears. It's uh, pretty unique. They do have a designated player. Spots open. Alvaro Algate. Will be the one officiating the match. It's great to hear supporters all around. And here we go. The 2017 MLS season has begun. The Sounders have kicked things off against the Dynamo. Jovan Jones from Trinidad Barrow to Nicolas Ladero. Ladero trying to pass it back. Too far out. Oh, shot taken by Wilbur, but no. Diedrich there and make the save. Now we're going to get things off with the corner kick by Nicolas Ladero. Measuring it. There's a nice slice, but no dice there. Taken away by Christian Waldon. 
Ellis now coming to the other way. Brad Evans takes it away here. Trying to pass it off. Oh, well, Bruin almost got that goal. He's really coughing it up. Header not good. Jordan Morris now to Ozzy Alonso. Ladero misses it. The Dynamo are looking to recover after a, a, a very bad season last season. Couldn't quite get the result that they wanted. It's been like that for the past couple of years, but hoping to think, take things around. Bruin was going to pass it, but he gets dispossessed. Of course, we all know the story. Hold on here a minute. Alice checks off a defender and passes it back to the goal. Goes around, finds himself on his own island, sneaks in, misses one defender, and finds the corner past the front front for the call, putting Dynamo up one now. It was quite the start that Houston wanted. Early go. Let's see how far they can carry this, and how will the Seattle Sounders respond? Ladero finding Bruin. Passes it back to Ladero. Ladero now. Is he going to find the goal? They caught everyone sleeping. The back line was just napping. Ladero finds Christian Roldan. And put, he puts it in the back of the net, and now we're at level. BBVA Compass Stadium has just quieted down. <laughs> Another dynamo will start off in their field. Fernandez pokes it away. Bit of a confusion, who'll be the one taking it out? Garcia finds Clark. He gets dispossessed, and it's going to be out again for the Houston Dynamo's throw. Garcia, far side, looking to cross it, but Jovan Jones able to take it away and gives up a corner kick. But at least they can't cross it. Let's take a look at that goal one more time by Christian Roldan. Just finds himself open. Quick one-timer for you hockey fans. He finds the back of the net. Beautiful corner kick with a nice slice. Oh, it just manages to find the feet there on the top of the key, but no. Alex couldn't find the back of the net. And it's out for a goal kick. There's the man who, in who no longer has to purchase a beer in Seattle. Tremendous save during MLS Cup last year. Help keep things at level against Toronto FC. Chad Marshall has been the one who put the dagger here for the Houston Dynamo. Ladero trying to pass it. No, Broden's able to pick it up, but he gets his possessed. The 
Sounders came twice to Houston last season. Nice clean take, cleanly taken by Jovan Jones there. Houston Dynamo. Oh, just possessed right away. Nicely done. It's a cleared out to the other half of the field. Ladero's there. Nice interception. Ladero finds Bruin. Bruin now. Trying to squeeze around defenders, but can't make it. He gets tackled right outside the box. But nothing done. Very poor pass there. Giving up the possession to Seattle. Brad Evans to Ozzy Alonzo. Jordan Morris with possession now. Trying to do a back heel pass, but can't do anything about it. Chad Marshall there waiting on the ball. Puts it in play. Well on to Lero, Lero. Finding Bruin had to come back for it though. Very unfortunate. He's gonna try to find a cross, but nothing there. Here we go the other way. As far as the Seattle Sounders season goes, all of mo most of last season was how are we gonna fill the void that Obafemi Martins left for most of the season. That's how it go how it went. That's how th that's the hole that they crawl themselves out of. At one point, second to last in the Western Conference standings, eventually made the playoffs, fourth seed. They hosted the wild card, but the wild card week. They were able to beat the Supporter Shield winners in FC Dallas. And then the number two seed, Colorado Rapids. Hold on here. I'm going to is trying to weave his way around defenders. Take a last Ladero! No! Ladero just let it bounce for a bit, trying to hold off two defenders. But they both beat him to it. Ladero has to settle for corner kick. Long slice in there, but nothing out of it. Ozzy finds Ladero. Jordan Morris wins the possession to Brad Evans. He loses it though, but here comes Christian Roldan. Nothing there. Christian Roldan trying to go a quick header. Nothing out of it either. Here we go the other way now. Nice clean tackle done there. Which is Mantas. Trying to find his way out of his defender. Just sells right over the crossbar. Stefan Fry, quick pass to Roman Torres. Three minutes of added stoppage time here in the first half. Roman Torres, another future favorite. Well, not just future, but he's a one who will not have to pay for a beverage there in the Pacific Northwest. Bruin now quickly passes it to Ladero once he sees something coming. Ladero goes for goal! Nothing. Derich has to be tired and exhausted, but we'll see how far that lasts. MLS Cup last year proved to be fatal for Toronto FC as Stefan Fry was warmed up with so much game time experience. Ladero, a far slice. Nothing there. Murphy just has to blow the whistle, if he will. And he does. That ends the first half here. Your scoreline here thus far here on Melon and Friday. The Seattle Sounders won. Houston Dynamo won. Christian will know with the most recent goal. Just to show you some of the highlights now, shall we?
So that does it there. How about that? Your scoreline 1-1 one, one here at the first half. What a great way to return. Episode 85 of Metal Inner Friday. The first game of the MLS season. How cool is that? Anyways, uh... I'm your host, Mr. LeCro, and do this every Friday. Give a little to know after these broadcasts whatsoever, but hey, eventually you caught on, so how about that? 85 straight weeks of ep new, fresh episodes of Melon and Friday. Thank you all for tuning in to the season premiere, for the MLS season premiere of Melon and Friday. One of your current scorelines. Let's take the kick things off for the second half of this match, shall we? No subs by either club. 1-1 one, one is the scoreline. Seattle ha haven't really been able to score a victory here at BBVA Compass Stadium since its opening. Let's change things here. The advantage played on there. Likes to Clark. Clark. Back to Alex. Inside the penalty area, but no. Chad Marshall would come away with it. Alex finds the glass. Ladero. Ladero squeezing it up for Will. But Will can't hold on. Bit of timing issue there. Garcia, Tomatitas, Clark. Far cross to Ellis, their goal scorer. Ozzy Alonso now. We're trying to pass it out, but that was too far. Able to be intercepted. Ellis, nice move there. Remick, a former Seattle Sounder. Clark now goes for a goal. Fans go see ya. Looks like Stefan Fry was able to put a hand on it. And yes, yes, it's going to be a corner for the Houston Dynamo. Sharp free kick, Nicolas Ladero. Trying to weave away around the defender, and he does so. Uh, Ladero finds Fernandez, who's huffing and puffing, trying to spread the defense. Finds Ladero, shot on goal, nothing there. Dispossessed, and Derrick has to come out and make the save. What a chain of events, and it's still back on the Seattle side. Will Bruin, will he be the one to put the dagger? No, he's going to pass it on. Too high of a shot for Ladero. Ladero couldn't put anything on it. Alex has to come out, though. Look at Ladero will be coming in for Alex. And we'll see how things change here. Clark, take a business. Got this possessed Ladero to Roman Torres. Bradley now finds Braun. Draws defenders, kicks it out. The Wadley veteran Brad Evans, although he's not going to be playing this week, is the one who finds the goal. Puts Seattle up 2-1 in this first match in the new season. Brad Evans has only played for two clubs. He started with Columbus, was selected in the expansion draft by the Sounders, has been here ever since, won his first MLS Cup last year. No, excuse me, his second. He said it was the most special he's ever felt, winning one for the Seattle Sounders. 
It was a dream, not a dream, but a mission. That's exactly what his, what his word was. He wanted to make sure that mission was complete. And he did so. And now he has Seattle up 2-1 here. Seattle might be knocking on the door. Nicolas Lodero can't find the footing. It's not the first time that it's happened. Pass back to Fry. Bruin finds Ladero. Bruin keeps calling for it like if he wants it. He might just keep it there in his corner. And that's what he's going to do, do there. It gets poked out. It's going to be a throw. We're having a sub here. Eric Torres will be coming in. The Mexican international. Trying to wa find his way back to the starting lineup and to Team Mexico as well. He was under the Chivas de Guadalajara system and went to the Chivas USA. He got s selected by the Dynamo. Excuse me, no. He uh, signed with the Dynamo after Chivas USA folded and there's another throw and given up by the Houston Dynamo. Change of players. Jordan Morris now. Splits defenders. Nicely done. But just still manages to keep his half. Oh, he got this possessed. Nicely taken away. Not that far, though. Oh, Jordan Morris got tripped up. He's still on the ground. Slowly coming up. There we go. Walk away. No call, says the ref, though. 2 1 is the scoreline here. Brad Evans intercepts the pass. And here comes Eric Torres. You see Roman Torres. Braun there. And he gets dispossessed. The Ligars are coming from the Galaxy. We're going to find a new home here in Houston for the Dynamo. Chen Marsh just clears it out of there. Another long cross and see what can be found there. Joe and Jones falls, takes his trip. And it looks like it's going to be a goal kick. Crowd not too happy about that call. Stuff on fire is going to look to launch it out of there. And he does so. Uh, dangerously brought back, but Jovan Jones is there. Christian rolled on. Ladero, nothing there. Oh, nicely done by Ladero. A nonchalant shot. But it's saved before preventing a corner kick. And here comes the dynamo the other way. But unfortunately, nothing's going to come out of it. We're into stoppage time now. Three minutes of added extra time. Take it away. Jovan Jones stripped of the possession. Cross taken, but Stefan Fry there. Able to successfully collect it with his bare hands. And that does it. That will be the last play of this first match back. Ladies and gentlemen, Memelos is back. Seattle Sounders come away with two unanswered goals. Coming into BBV at Compass Stadium and scored the goals against the Dynamo. Who only scored? One goal. Brad Evans with the game winner. Someone you wouldn't expect, but the Wiley of Red Ren able to come away with the victory here at BBVA Cup of Stadium.
So your final scoreline 2-1, how about that? It's kind of interesting, we'll see how things play out here throughout the rest of the season. Ladies and gentlemen, I am your host, Mr. LaCroix. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching the episode 85 live here on Twitch. Don't forget to subscribe so you can go ahead and follow all the latest updates from new broadcasts. Also, for those of you watching this on, uh, on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and enjoy this video as well. All, uh, Twitch users, please click on the link below. YouTube link is down below. You can watch all my other episodes for heart beforehand. Uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you want to go ahead and follow this live, just click on the Twitch link below in the description. But until then, that wraps it up for episode 85 of Melod and Friday. It's been a pleasure hosting. I'm your host, Mr. LeCro, as always. Your final scoreline, Santa Santos 2, Houston Dynamo 1. Take care, guys. Happy gaming, and I'll see you all, as always, on the other side. I always take along with this, but hey, take care and happy gaming.